Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to explain to you how you can disable sub-site creation in a SharePoint Online. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So uh, if you have used SharePoint like 10 years ago, uh, you uh, probably used to create and lots and lots of sub-sites, and that's how we created uh, you know, new sites in the past. We just would navigate uh, to uh, the site contents of a given site, right? We would typically have a site collection or something, right? Uh, and uh, essentially create new subsite. And, you know, you, then you would create, you know, a subsite under the main site that you had. Well, this is not how we create uh, sites anymore in modern SharePoint. This is wrong, all right? Don't uh, do it at home, <laughs> all right, um, anymore. Uh, essentially, in modern SharePoint, we have what we call flat architecture, all right? And what that means is that uh, we don't have a kind of this uh, almost like a folder hierarchy, you know, in terms of sites. We have uh, essentially every site is uh, is an independent entity, all right? It's a top-level site. And the way we create sites now, I mean, this is one of the ways, I guess, I'll show you. Uh, you just navigate to the SharePoint start page and you click create a site and uh, you spin up one of the modern sites, either a team site or communication site. Uh, and uh, there will be no subsites in this case, all right? Essentially, all the sites will be kind of independent of one another. As you can see, uh, it's not like one site is underneath the other. Uh, they just kind of uh, have independent URLs uh, and there is really no physical, uh, you know, hierarchy between them. Uh, well, unfortunately, what happens way too often uh, still is that users create lots of subsites and they just don't make any sense with modern, uh, you know, SharePoint because the subsites, first of all, they like, like the same, you know, templates, uh, you know, those team sites and communication site templates that we have in modern SharePoint. Uh, there is always a mess with the security and permissions inheritance. Uh, subsites cannot be connected to teams. Uh, and so on. All right. Long story short, then obviously subsites are not, you know, cannot be easily connected to the hub, uh, right? Because uh, it's essentially a subsite. It's not the top level site. Uh, anyway, long story short, do not create any more subsites. That's absolutely wrong way to proceed. Create modern, you know, team sites or communication sites. But unfortunately, unfortunately, what happens is that users are still going in. If I'm a site owner, they go to site contents and you know, they create this new subsite button and they create a subsite. Uh, some organizations, by the way, also disable modern site creation, right? So they actually disable this create a site button. And uh, that means that they cannot quickly create a site. So that I assume drives lots of site owners uh, to create uh, subsites uh, within, you know, the sites they already have. Uh, as an admin, right, you probably want to disable that. And there is a way to disable that, and let me show you how to do it. So uh, you need to navigate to the admin center, and obviously you need to be a SharePoint admin for that. And uh, let me navigate to the SharePoint admin center now. And uh, now uh, you will need to click on settings. However, um, as of a recording of this video, uh, this particular setting is, does not appear on this modern kind of dashboard. You kind of have to go to classic settings page. All right, um, I'm sure with time, this feature will become available in modern uh, experience as well. And this is a classic, uh, you know, SharePoint Admin Center screen. Uh, that's why it looks so different. And uh, over here, on the subsite creation, just you know, in this section over here, there are a few choices. So by default, uh, subsites are enabled. You can actually enable them. So essentially, with this middle option, you can uh, still allow subsites with classic sites only. So essentially, it's not going to be available on modern, just classic. But you know what? There is no reason why you should have still have any classic sites in your environment. So I would just go for this button, click that, and click OK. All right, let's pretend I clicked OK. I'm not going to do it, but let's pretend I did this. Uh, it takes some time. It you, you know might take maybe a few hours for the change to occur. But what will happen is what will happen is that next time the user goes in, and it doesn't do anything to the existing subsites. By the way, in case if they had any, it's not like they're going to be deleted or anything like that. But you know next time they try to create a new subsite, this option will be gone. 
all right? So essentially there will be no more option, physically impossible for the users to create subsites. Essentially you will eliminate this uh, option for them once and for all. And in my opinion, that's a really good, uh, you know, practice, the best practice to implement. All right, so that's all I wanted to share in this particular video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel, and uh, talk to you soon. Goodbye.